Growing up, my mom ensured that we went to mass every week. She could barely afford gas to get to work. And she made a point to give every week. I'll never forget that for as long as I live. Your example is the best thing for your children. It's important that they're there and then eventually they'll find out why they're there. In the world is such a very divided society and I think people are looking for a, a place where they can experience common dreams and hopes. Everyone here just has a sense of belonging. There's kids who bring non-Catholics and they love coming so much that they want to come back every week. That's the highest form of acknowledgement that we have something special here. It's the parishioners, the, the culture, the warmth. I, I feel like it permeates through the church. Our church is amazing and we have a lot of amazing people in it too. There's just a better sense of community than I've had in other churches, albeit it's a little strange at first with the basketball court vibes. This church doesn't really look like a lot of the other churches. From the outside, it doesn't look much like a church other than the signs. A lot of people saw this building but did not recognize it as a church because it doesn't look like a church. It looks more like a hall. When it's in a setting like this, it's more private and quaint and it's organic. But in a cathedral setting, it's almost like ideas are bigger, your faith is bigger and increases. It's just a different feeling when you're in a, a beautiful place to worship. One of the reasons the bishop asked me to come here was to look to see if it was time to build a church, a permanent sanctuary. When this Odessa Trinity area was so quiet, there was little attention given to this church. But with the growth and a fantastic pastor, it's exploding. You see just the amount of people that are here, you know, at each mass. It's amazing. When I'm altar serving, I see a lot of people standing in the back. We've definitely seen it go from just a few here in the, the pews uh, to standing room only at a regular mass. There's no parking. <laughs> the rooms are packed. The hallways are packed. It's children and families, and it's beautiful. To imagine that we first joined this church when our son was like one and a half, to then potentially seeing him get married in the sanctuary, it's mind blowing. In the future, I could get married in this church. My children can get baptized in this church. Our kids are gonna grow up there, and you know, they're gonna get baptized, and I just gotta contain my excitement. This is an amazing investment to be able to lay the foundation stones to build an actual church. When your children get older, when your daughter is older, she's going to be walking down this aisle. It's really important that you dig deep. It is up to us to make this happen. This is our place of worship. We're asking everyone to be involved in this campaign, to make that sacrificial commitment, to go into those deep waters of faith and to know that they're making this amazing investment. It will take all of us, it'll take a village. Whatever you can put aside and take out for the church, that's gonna come back to you. I always look at Christ upon the cross and thought, well, that was the ultimate sacrifice. I have to be willing to do something in return for this amazing love that has changed my life. After the resurrection, after Christ rose from the dead, Jesus said to him, well, Peter, do you love me? And he asked him three times. So just as Peter denied Christ three times, now he has the opportunity to reverse that.
that was when he really became a disciple, when he made that personal confession of faith and said, Lord, you know I love you. And then he was willing to give his life. It has to be all of us making this dream come true. You have an opportunity to be a part of something bigger than yourself. That's what this new church will offer all of us. Christ is saying to us, do you love me? We just have to ask ourselves, what is my response? Lord. Lord. Lord, you know I love you. 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 Lord, you know I love you. I love you. You know I love you. Lord, you know I love you. Lord, you know I love you.